Hello everyone and welcome to this KD3 subdivision tutorials in Houdini. So in this tutorial what we will learn is how to do a selective subdivision based on the color from the image. So let's start Houdini and see how we can achieve this kind of effects inside of Houdini. So like any other tutorial we will begin with uh, geometry. So we will go inside the geometry and delete the file node and we'll drop in the grid so once we have the grid uh, what we'll need to do is we will need to add in the uh, image that we'll be using to subdivide this geometry so let's just drop in attribute from map and then over here select the image that you would like to use to subdivide the geometry so for now I'll just select the side effects logo so let's see so here's our side effects logo so right now what's happening is uh, this uh, color is being applied on the points so we want to transfer the color from points to the primitive to do that we'll use attribute promote and then in the attribute promote we'll select uh, CD for original name and in the new class we'll select primitive so we'll leave the promotional method to average after we have done that what we'll need to do is we will need to create a group from the color so to do that we'll drop in group from expression and then in in the group from expression we'll give it a name we'll call this color and for the expression what we'll be using is we will compare it on basis of the color so it would be at color that is CD capital C small d less than 0.5 so it will select a bunch of faces uh, which color value are less than 0.5 once we have made the group we will subdivide this group so after this We'll drop in subdivide and in the subdivision uh, we'll select the group color and for the uh, subdivision algorithm we'll be using open subdiv bilinear so here our geometry is being subdivided on the basis of the color so we will need to repeat this process a couple of times uh, to achieve the look that we want so to do that what we will be using is we will be using for each so that would be for each with feedback so and then in this uh, for each we will connect the grid to the begin section and then after the begin we will connect our attribute from map and at the end we will connect the subdivide node before doing that uh, we will uh, decrease the number of iteration so let's just uh, decrease it to 2 and then we'll connect our subdivision to the end so after uh, two iteration we are getting this subdivision so let's just turn off the grid so you can see that our geometry is being divided on the basis of the color so if we increase the number of iteration to something like five we get a fairly dense mess uh, where the subdivision is happening on the basis of the color so let's just decrease the number of iteration to four you can also play with the group expression uh, and you can also decrease or increase the color value that you want to compare so let's go with 0.6 so after the subdivision what we are going to do is we are going to extrude this so before we do that what I want to do is I want to get an area estimation using a major sop and we won't uh, be changing anything we'll just do a quick measure and then after this I'll drop in the extrude node pull extrude so we'll add a distance of one and we will be using individual elements for the divide intro and for the local attribute distance scale we'll just leave it to z scale 
and then what we will do is we'll drop in the Wrangler node just above the extrude so in the Wrangler node uh, we'll be using run over primitive and we'll say at G scale we'll say random based on on the primitive number okay so doing so we will get a result where we have a random extrusion of the geometry based on the primitive number so if you want to fit this in between some value you can just do a fit range or fit 0 1 so we'll say our minimum value would be of 0.5 and our maximum value would be of 1. So to get more interesting result, what I'll be doing is I'll just multiply this whole thing with our perimeter. So you can see all the faces are being extruded according to their perimeter area. So in the poly extrude, we'll decrease the distance value to something like 0.3. So we have this result. Or let's just decrease it more to 0.2. So, so we'll also add a little bit of inset in between. A 0.001. I think this is uh, coming out really big. So let's just decrease the uh, extrusion amount. So instead of going between 0.5 and 1, we'll just go between 0.2 and 0.5. And for the extrude, we'll just decrease this value to 0.05. So I think this is going to work. So you can also add in the bevel to give it a little bit of uh, edge for all the faces. So this is how you can do a KD3 subdivision inside of Houdini. So if you have any questions or query regarding this tutorial or if you have any suggestions, please do let me know through the comment below. Thank you.